A Hohmann transfer orbit is an elliptical orbit that can take a spacecraft from Earth to Mars. This green circle here represents the elliptical transfer orbit. You can also see Earth's and Mars' position at the time of the probe launch. And our spacecraft will go this way in the transfer orbit. Mars will go along this way in its own orbit, and eventually they'll arrive at the same time at the same place right here. For this to occur, it's important for the launch to occur at a specific time, which is called the launch window. This occurs every 26 months when Mars is 44 degrees ahead of Earth in its orbit. To find the angle, we have to first find the time it takes for our spacecraft to get from Earth to Mars through the elliptical orbit. So first we have to find the semi-major axis, which is the distance from the center of the elliptical orbit to the side. In order to do that, I added the distance of Earth from the Sun and the distance of Mars from the Sun together. And that's 1 plus 1.524 divided by 2, and that gave me 1.262 astronomical units. Again, I'm using Kepler's law to solve for the semi-major axis uh, distance. And I plugged 1.262 into A, solved for PT, and that gave me 1.418 years. And that's the time it takes for a spacecraft to go around the whole transfer orbit. However, we're only going to go halfway around the transfer orbit to get to Mars. So we're going to uh, multiply that by a half. And that gives us 0 0.709 years, which is equal to 259 days. Since Mars completes one whole revolution around the Sun in 686.57 days, I can find how many degrees it moves per day. So if I take 360 degrees and divide by 686.57, that gives me 0 0.524 degrees per day. So that means that Mars moves um, 0 0.524 degrees per day. And from what we just calculated earlier, the time that it takes for our spacecraft to go from Earth to Mars is 259 days. So if I multiply that time period by 0 0.524 degrees, then that gives me 135.7 degrees. As you can see in this diagram, you can see that Mars has indeed moved 135 degrees from its initial point, um, which is right here, and its final position is right here at point A. And lastly, to find the angle that Mars has to be ahead of Earth at the time of the launch, I subtract 135 degrees from the final position. So that's 180 degrees minus 135.7 degrees, and that gives us the angle 44.3 degrees. And 44 degrees is the angle that Mars has to be ahead of Earth in its orbit in order for our spacecraft and Mars to arrive at the same place and same time. Also, the next time that, this, that there will be this launch window, uh, is July 31st, 2018.